In this video, I'm going to show you how to properly wash your summer fruits. This little video is going to be about how to wash your summer fruit properly. I don't know if you like me, but I'm on a journey for eating healthier. And these days, it's important to get as healthy as you can. There's a lot of pesticides on these fruits, unless you buy organic, but even with organic, you have to be careful. It's always good to make sure you wash your fruit as properly as possible. Don't use tap water, use bottled water. And the key to getting everything off your fruit, the pesticides, and if organic, any little critters or bugs, is to use vinegar and baking soda. So to get your fruit ready, put them in your bowls. Have red grapes. It's beautiful bright red cherries. You can rinse off your fruit first in tap water, but I prefer not to because you never know what's in the tap water. So what I do is I take bottled water, pour it in, just right above the fruit line where the fruit is. Take a little vinegar. And put a little bit more water in this. And you take your baking soda and just sprinkle it in. You see it sizzle? That's what you want. You want it to sizzle. Once it sizzles, that's going to be taken off the residues, the dirt and the pesticides. Baking soda and vinegar with some water, bottled water mixing. It just really suds it up there. Sizzle it up. Just go like that. Make sure you wash your hands after you do this so the vinegar doesn't sting your hand. And if you have any sensitivity to vinegar, you could put on gloves before you do this. Or use a spoon, either way. Okay. Then what I do is I just put a little bit more in. Just a bit. A little extra. You know, I'd put more vinegar and just put a little bit more baking soda. Then you just let that rest for about 20 minutes. And in 20 minutes, a lot of that pesticides and the dirt will be right off just from that. The combination of those two. The vinegar and the baking soda. Once your fruit is done soaking, use a small spaghetti strainer to drain the water. Combine your fruit, or unless you're just washing one fruit, but combine them both together and add some more water. Now you're going to let this soak for another five minutes. Then all you have to do is just shake it out like this. and put it in a clean bowl. Just like that. While it's still soaking, just like that. Right in the clean bowl. And there you have some beautiful, clean fruit. Hopefully, void of all pesticides and all dirt, but definitely a lot cleaner and a lot more healthier for you. Mmm. Mm, yum, yum, yum. So delicious.